Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. This will be the first video in a series in response to a comment made by ADV Squared on the China Pass 2017 video I released last week. Mr. Squared writes, Man, that trail looked brutal. All the footage was of you going up, but do you have any advice about controlling your speed when going down such a steep rocky trail? Thanks. No, Mr. Squared, I gotta say thank you. Thanks for watching and thanks for commenting on my video. And it's funny that you bring this up because it's something I've wanted to do a video on for a while now, but I've been procrastinating. And your comment was just the push I needed to get this video series started. Now, first off, I feel obliged to make sure that everybody understands that I am not saying I am an expert at any of this. And while I admit not being an expert, I am getting pretty good at going up and down hills because I do a lot of it. And I'm beginning to notice that even when I ride with people who have a lot more experience than I do, they're making a lot of what I would say are mistakes that could just be making hill climbs and descents harder than they need to be. Did someone say hill climbs? Now I know that hill climbs aren't everybody's cup of tea, but I love me some hill climbs. The rockier and the nastier, the better. It's possible that in another life, I was a mountain goat. Now I'm not gonna say it always goes as planned. And if you make too many mistakes, hill climbs can defeat even the most physically fit rider. A tough hill and some friendly competition can send your heart rate through the roof. Hill climbs can be intimidating, and not for the faint of heart. Stare at the hill too long, and you might just lose your nerve. I find that it's best not to make eye contact, and just get on the throttle. But not every climb requires brute force. Sometimes a little finesse will get you a long way. And it never ceases to amaze me what a rider and a bike are capable of. And sometimes no matter how hard you try, well, it's just not meant to be. Recently a friend said to me, this doesn't look like fun. Why would people do this? And I can't speak for everybody. And I can't even really answer for myself. Maybe part of it's the challenge. And maybe part of it is the sense of accomplishment that you get when you make it to the top. Well, for the flat earther guys, uh, I gotta tell you, it doesn't look very flat from up here. Whether making it to the top alone or with a group of friends, there's a very satisfying sense of fulfillment and the views are amazing. But as ADV Squared pointed out, getting to the top is only half of the adventure. And for many riders, getting down the hill seems to be more difficult than getting up. Now, if you're not big into hill climbs, I hope this video has given you a reason to give them a second chance. 
And for those of you who are into hill climbs but you're struggling a little bit, this series should help you out. So over the next few videos in this series, we're going to go over some of the basic fundamentals that every rider should know. And we're also going to go over some of the techniques that I've learned that helped me. Now I'm breaking these down into some bite-sized and easily digestible lessons where you can take what you've learned out into the field and practice. So we're going to start in the next video by talking about the sense, going downhill. I figure that's as good a place as any to start. Besides, it's probably a good thing to learn how to get down the hill before you start going up. And when it comes to downhill, well let's just say the brakes aren't always your friend. Now I have to say thank you to everybody who watched the video, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos. And I hope you're as excited as I am about the rest of the videos in this series. See you next time.